video interview. And today we're here at Andersonville National Historic Site with Evan Kutzler, who is a assistant professor of history at Georgia Southwestern in Americas. He earned his master's and PhD at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. And we are talking to him today because he just published four or five weeks ago, came out. December 16th. There we go. Living by inches, the smell, sounds, and feeling of captivity in Civil War prisons uh, with UNC Press. So, <clears throat> how did you get started on this topic? Let's start with that. Well, I, I wanted to do a Civil War topic, um, and I wanted to find a new angle that I could take uh, you know, a, a, a well done period in American history and see it or experience it, think about it from a new angle. Um, and uh, I knew prisons were a, a relatively understudied part of the, uh, the Civil War era. Um, and uh, it, it, I was, was taken by the idea of, of, of sensory history um, as, as a new angle to, to really get at the, the experience of it all. Um, and I had a little bit of background in thinking about you know, the non-visual aspects of experience, um, in part because my first job was working as a historic site interpreter at the, the Battle of Franklin, uh, the Carter House there, mm -hmm. and in telling that story, telling a story of a battle that took place 80% uh, after dark, uh, mm -hmm. it, in, in relaying, and in, in now a modern subdivision, uh, it, it, you, it requires an imagination, it requires trying to talk to visitors about um, what it's like not to see. Uh, in, uh, in in the past, what does it what does it what does it sound like to the family hiding in the basement? Uh, what does what do, what do uh, seventeen dead horses smell like two weeks later? Um, and so, with that kind of idea, when I, I didn't have the language for it when I arrived at the University of South Carolina, uh, but working with Mark Smith, uh, kind of very quickly, I was uh, I, I discovered that uh, sensory history, sensory angle on Civil War prisons. Uh, might be that new, new path for me.